Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is B Taylor TV, and today we are talking about how having a side baby will always bite you, and how you are setting your children up for failure when you decide to lay with a man in a relationship and keep a baby. So we all know that Matthew Knowles has a past history of cheating on Beyonce's mother back in the past, having affairs on her, multiple affairs, and he ended up getting a oops baby out of this. So this woman that he messed with back in the day, I guess back in like 2013, Alexandra Wright gained major notoriety after claiming and sub- subsequently proving that she was pregnant by Matthew Knowles at 71. At the time, the former Destiny Child Manager was still married to his now ex-wife, Tina Knowles Lawson, 69, who he shares famous daughters, Beyonce and Solange, with. The scandal ultimately ended with Knowles divorcing and possibly more unfortunately left a young boy without a loving father. So Wright publicly discussed her woes with Matthew when her son Nixon Nixon was just a toddler, explaining that she was forced to sue for child support after going bankrupt and had to move into a mobile home. Now, Wright says that the 13-year-old son still doesn't have any communication with his father nor his siblings, despite Beyonce recently purchasing a mega mansion just 10 miles away from where they live. And then the Jasmine brand said, as they reported back in May, the Renaissance artist 41 and her hubby Jay-Z 53 have dropped $200 million on a weekend estate for their family of five. Reportedly, Wright stated of this about the situation, quote, she, quote unquote, Beyonce, is a billionaire and just bought the most expensive house in California, 10 miles from where we live, adding, but no, there has not been any contact. The pain still needs to heal. It's funny that she said that. Keep that in mind when she said the pain still needs to heal. She really think that her son is going to fit in right with this family. She think time is going to eventually get her in the door. Okay, let's continue. Continuing, the entrepreneur expressed that her biggest obstacle is explaining to Nixon why his father chooses to not be around. Sharing the emotional toll his longing has on her, she continued, my main concern has been dealing with a child that asks, why doesn't that person love me? It's a very human story and I sit in the bathroom and cry sometimes because I just don't know how to help him be his own person. Ciao. Okay, first of all, Miss Wright, we're going to talk about this because everyone knew Matthew Knowles was married, okay? Tina Knowles was on the scene. Everybody knew that, that was Beyonce's father. And this little chick decided she thought that oh yeah i'm gonna mess with him he probably was spending a little money here and there she's like yeah i'm sleeping with beyonce's dad oh yeah this is the you know what the celebrity worship is sickening i'm pretty sure matthew got a lot of women's out of the a lot of women out of their panties just by being beyonce's father because some people really think that sleeping with the seed that made Beyonce is going to get them closer to stardom. And then when Miss Wright got pregnant, she's like, oh my God, I just got pregnant from a multimillionaire father, okay? And I, this is Beyonce's, I'm related to Beyonce's. I am carrying the child related to Beyonce. My son will be the brother of a legend. I'm just giving you the mindset of this side chick, okay? This mistress, because she's not even a side chick. She's a whole mistress, a Jezebel, okay? She thought that this was going to be a money grab. 
She probably already had it planned in her head, okay? They're probably going to be mad for like a few years, but they're going to welcome him by the time he's like four years old. I'm pretty sure they're going to welcome him. And, you know, Matthew doesn't want to look good, doesn't want to look bad in the public eye. So I know he's going to take care of his son. Oh, he got all this money. So he's going to give me all this money for child support. Oh, my gosh. And then maybe Beyonce, he could even go on tour with Beyonce. Maybe we'll be one big old happy family and Tina. You know, she'll be mad for a little bit. But I think she'll accept my son son because he's so innocent you know and my son I could live through my son and his riches and fortune being associated with the Knowles family because my son is a Knowles that's what Wright was probably thinking she thought she hit the money bag she thought she was wanting up bringing this child this illegitimate child into the world thinking that it was going to somehow pay her off. But what she didn't know is that she was bringing a child in this world full of pain because of how this child was made. First of all, this child was not made from love. It was made from dark, hidden secrets. It was made out of lies. It was made out of, and I'm talking about the making of the child. I'm not talking about the child itself because the child let me just say the child is innocent in all of this. And it's so unfortunate that they that he has a mother that was so selfish to think that it was a great idea to bring in a child with a married man. That is probably the most selfish thing that you can do because you're signing your child up to endure rejection and pain and non-acceptance from his own father and his other side of his family. I don't know why she thought it was going to be a kumbaya story. She probably was searching on the internet, looking for ways of, oh, if he had an affair and it ended up working out. and da, da, da. No, she probably thought she was about to get a bag with child support. She thought maybe he would get probably deals. Maybe he can get the same talent that Beyonce has because the talent is just running through Matthew knows maybe he's going to invest in our son the way he invested in Beyonce like girl stop because you living in la la land and I think a lot of these side chicks live in la la land they really live in la la land to think that this man really cared about you he was not leaving his wife you were a whole secret and he resents you and that child because as much as he is at fault he is the primary primary person at fault here because yes yeah, she was a side chick but he stepped out and I, I I don't like when women say well he didn't owe uh her she didn't owe her no loyalty he did no 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 because baby girl you knew what you was doing too now if you was in a situation where you didn't know the man was married but if you are full aware and know that a man is married and he, I don't care if he's miserable. I don't care if he's not happy. I don't care if it's for an image. He is married. Point blank period. You are Jezebel. Point blank period. And I know as harsh as that sounds, you need to hear the truth. Because energetically, now she is paying for the price of her decision making. And being sneaky. And being, being cursed. In a way, because now she has to sit and watch the one thing that she loved in this life suffer because of her consequences. And there's nothing that she can really do to help him heal until his father accepts him, accepts him. He is not going to be able to heal that father wound until he goes through the emotion that his father will never accept him. Because Matthew knows resents the mom and resent him because he also has another child. Okay, he has a daughter that the mom's trying to parade around. And these women really just thought they were going to be close to they, they probably brag about it. Oh my God, my child related to Beyonce. You know, Beyonce's little sister, baby. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Because that just shows that you was messing with that man when he was married. Like, there's no honor in saying that. Nobody's going to give them brand deals for saying that. Because there is a disgrace 
when he has outside children outside of his marriage and union that he don't even see as worthy that he don't even see because he resents that child. He resents the mom. Like you ruined my marriage. You ruined my relationship with my daughters. You came in and you wrecked my home. But no, Matthew, you wrecked your own home by stepping out and being with this woman and knocking her up and getting her pregnant and thought you had so much power and control that she was not going to not keep that baby. Do you know that that was a money grab for her? She was going to keep the child. So mama, mama, right. You may want to sit down with your son and explain to him why his daddy don't want to be with him. But that's just too much accountability for you to take, ma'am. That's just too much accountability. It's so unfortunate because this this child, like I said, he does not deserve this. And, you know, I feel like every child is a blessing. Every child is a blessing, but we got to be re- be realistic about it. We got to be realistic about it. Is that... She broke up that man's, well, she didn't break it up. He broke up his own family, okay? But she helped within that. You know, she came out like, hey, I'm pregnant. And he got a divorce, so he's mad. He's like, you wanted this child? You wanted that so-called fame? I'm going to show you. So that's his payback for her, quote-unquote, coming out with what was going on and keeping a baby that he did not want. And this also goes to show don't have a baby with a man that don't want the baby. You should never lie down with a man who do not see a future with you, especially unprotected. Because there is a risk that a baby can be born. And instead of putting your body through trauma to get rid of it or whatever process you do, don't even lay with nobody like that. They don't see a future with you. Be confident that this man, and the only way you know a man want to have a future with you, and I'm saying this from experience, is when he puts a ring on it. When he gets down on one knee, that's when you know that man really, really actually wants a future. Other than that, it is all talk. It is all talk. So now she's living with these consequences and she need to sit down. And then her son's going to get older and realize that his mom was a 304. Okay. That is embarrassing. My mom was a mistress. And I actually know a guy from, uh, that I know for years and he was a product of an affair. His parents was in the military and they met and they hooked up and his mom was white and his dad was black, but the black man had a whole black family. Okay, and he went home to, but he was deployed. So while they were, you know, deployed together, they were sleeping together and messing around. Nothing real serious. Got pregnant, and she wanted to keep her mixed baby, and she did. And you know what he told me? He said, "Why would she keep a baby from an affair?" And I just looked at him and said, "Well, you are that baby, so I mean, you wouldn't really be here." If you didn't, he goes, you know how hard my life has been growing up, being raised by my white side of my family and seeing my black side, my dad, my siblings. And I never got to really talk to them and have a relationship with them until I got older. I don't really have a relationship with my dad, but my brothers, they got old enough to reach out to me and have some form of relationship but he did not have that relationship. He literally said he wished he never even existed because the amount of pain he had to endure growing up, not have knowing that he has a father that lives somewhere else with a black family and a wife. And he would go over there, I guess, but he never felt welcomed. He never felt a part of that family. And he, ne- and he already looked different because his mother is white. And the rest of them are dark-skinned, brown-skinned people, black people. So, he, so I've talked to someone personally who was a product of an affair. And they literally wish they never existed. But they make the best out of their situation that they are now. But they went through turmoil growing up. So I don't advise it. And this is a warning to you. This is a warning to men. This is a warning to anybody who is messing with somebody that is married. That is not one coven that you don't want to mess with. Because I look at marriage as a coven. 
If you break your coven, there's consequences that that's going to get dealt with. God is going to deal with you. God will bless a man who is faithful to his family and faithful to his wife. He will bless you so much financially, but a man who is just, you ain't going to never have peace. And look at Matthew now. We don't even know what he had. I don't know. He, I, I, I'm not even going to say it. But yeah, guys. All right. Let me know your thoughts below. How do y'all feel about this whole situation? Do you think that the mistress, you know, thought that she was going to have a payday money grab moment and she thought she was going to ride off the backs of Beyonce's success just because her child is related to Beyonce? Beyonce ain't got nothing to do with that. That is none of her business. And why you ain't asking for the sister? You just want to mention Beyonce. For what? Beyonce don't even probably talk to her cousins. What makes you think you... Girl, okay, bye. All right, guys. <laughs> this whole story was triggering for me because I just... I don't like mistresses. Mistresses. I don't like women who mess with married men. I don't like... And they selfish and they don't care. Like, you know, like, I don't like... I don't care for women like that. I just... I don't know. Y'all, let me know y'all thoughts below. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and a like and a comment. It boosts the video and the algorithm and my page. Also, shout out to my mods, my subscribers, and my members. I really appreciate you guys for sticking it out to the end. And until next time, bye.